so let's say you have this cake animation here this jelly cake is here on this plate and you know you want to have this little animation where you're just testing if uh, you know your jelly cake is bouncy enough so I have the same scene that I had in the previous tutorial with one exception which is this hand which you can very quickly find by going in the asset browser and searching for a female and adding this female nude and I have cut this uh, hand from the model which I can't unfortunately show you on the screen because you know boobs the way I did create this hand animation is actually very very interesting because as of uh, Cinema 4D S24.1 uh, there's been added this very interesting functionality where you can take this dynamic dynamic place tool you can take this and you can um, click on your object and you can for example move it around like this and uh, you can also move it like like this and if you change this uh, axis to um, for this hand to be somewhere here you can see that if you move move this like this it will create this very natural motion now this is of no use to you if you cannot record this animation but since of uh, as as i already mentioned uh, version 24.1 you can actually search for this cappuccino um, you can click on start real time and you can record the animation which in this case is a very very natural okay but as you can see this is not affecting this jelly cake here so what you can do is you can go in this animate mode which is over here and you can select your hand and you can move it down a bit so that it kind of touches this right and if you play the animation you will see that nothing still happens because uh, this needs to interact with this jelly cake now if you click on your uh, cake uh, on your object here you can search for this collision deformer and hold down shift and add this here and I think it needs to be below or maybe it doesn't let's see yeah it needs to be below the jiggle deformer no actually <laughs> let me just uh, do what's necessary first there needs to be this collider here so now uh, as you can see it collides but the collision is not really um, you know it's not really good and you can fix that by changing this to outside um, and you will see that the collision is much much better now and uh, here I have this redshift object tag which is cre which is basically as, a, as I understand it's doing the same thing as this subdivision surface but it's only doing this in in render mode so as you can see here if i increase my uh, progressive passes a bit um, the the animation of this uh, model is is smooth the model its model itself i mean uh, is really smooth and you can't see really these edges that are uh, for example over here as you can see here it's smooth uh, yeah it's, it's smoother and as you can see from the previous tutorial if you watched it I have this vertex map here and this is added to this restriction which basically means that this part of this jelly cake it will not move only this part will move and this creates this very natural looking animation where this um, cake is not moving or sliding around there's only this bouncing going on and that's it Please, if you have any questions or su suggestions, uh, please leave those in the comments and, you know, I will see you in the next video.